Guys, welcome to another new cars car event on Drive Club, where today we are driving the new, amazing, beautiful Chevrolet Corvette ZR1 Centennial Edition. Oh, that noise is absolutely monstrous. Listen to that. Right, so welcome to this event in where we're going to be putting a big, meaty, muscly supercar against 458s. And as you can clearly see, so far so good. So this thing was another one of those really confusing cars like, are you adding new cars only into Drive Club? Nope, there we go. They're adding like an oldish kind of car. To be honest, this is kind of like a, a special version of the car. So it may be a new version of the car, if that makes sense. But uh, it, it's kind of an old car. So that was really confusing. Stop whistling down the mic. That's one thing that I found annoying about Drive Club recently. For some reason, it doesn't show you that they have mics sometimes until you get into the runnings. And then you have chavs playing music down the mic and chavs everywhere. Chavs in my house. Chavs in my socks. I don't bloody know. Anyway. Oh, shite! Took him on the inside. Come on! I like that little matte black stripe down the top there. I didn't notice that the first time I saw it. Oh, listen to that noise. Absolutely mental car. I think I see myself driving this quite a bit. Like, I drove the new Corvette. And I'm not going to lie, it was not amazing. Um, it, it just feels very, 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 very heavy. And this actually feels about the same weight as the 558. The 558 is a little bit lighter, it feels. But... I actually feel as if the weight actually may help a little bit with this car. On here, anyway! <laughs> to actually get it planted more, because the 458, I have a little bit of an issue with it when I'm going through corners and such. It doesn't really feel like it's got any weight at all, and it just goes horribly wrong. So, you know, you're going to have a balance. You're going you're gonna to have a balance. How are these two ahead of me? Oh, they're, one of them's on my team anyway, and we've got someone behind me on my team. So as long as... We don't let that red guy win. I am absolutely fine. We can take this guy easily. If we can actually get, learn how to use corners. And not just slide constantly. Stupid American car. I'm about to be taken. No! He's on my team. I probably shouldn't do that. Sorry. <laughs> break, 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 break. I need to keep my eye on the gear when I change down as well. Like in corners. Because that's one thing I keep doing. I keep going. when, I, Especially in cockpit view, I keep ending up in neutral in the corners. Oh, no! Well, it looks like I'm in fourth place now. <laughs> I'm not catching up there unless someone makes a horrible, horrible mistake. And I highly doubt they'll make that bad of a mistake for me to be able to catch up now. Move out of the way! But I'm just here for the Ronnie. It's fine. Just just have a nice little cruise. I don't know where we are in the world. It's just it's te teleported us here. I need to actually power on, otherwise we're not actually going to go anywhere. May help it some... Oh! That was a cheeky one. <laughs> anyway. Get this corner right. Go! Go! That's too much! That was alright, I guess. No! No! God damn it! Go down! Well, there we go. We've just lost our lead and our gaining, slight gain, slight possibility of gaining on those guys at the front. Absolutely brilliant work, Theo. But anyway, let's get into some cockpit view. For the people that want to see that, there's not many of you. But it's a nice, relaxing cruise. It's nice and quiet now we're in the cockpit view. I like that. It's like loud and crazy when you're on the outside. And all of a sudden, it's like, oh, yes. I would like a cup of tea in here won't spill at all because I can't hit we're not in a car we're in a we're in a house it doesn't make any noises whatsoever that oh that's just the central heating it's fine not anymore it's not get on the outside and die turn more than you should it doesn't let you change down a gear if you're going like too fast as well which I find really really annoying but helpful at the same time because otherwise your gear would just be going for the whole thing we're actually managing to catch up to this guy. I think he's just falling behind. There's no... He spun it! Okay, I can clearly see why we're catching up here. I don't think we're going to take him, though, because he's too far ahead now. Come on! Take him! No, he's... 
Ah, oh, that could have been another close finish, but no, there wasn't another lap. My AI is about to take him when I could not. Look at that. Oh no, he just decided to break for him. I'm not as nice as that. It appears my AI is nicer than I am. But anyway, there is the Chevrolet Corvette Zero One Centennial Edition. It's hard to say if it's better than 458 to drive to me because I've been driving the 458 for a long time and I love the 458 in every other game. This game is not as good. It's not as good. It's not as good. But I think from now on, I'm going to choose this. And we won anyway. Look at all those people with mics. And we only heard one whistle. Amazing. Thanks for being quiet, guys. Thank you so much. Peace.